Welcome to another video. Recently I took a trip over to Europe from Amsterdam down the Rhine River and ended up in Lucerne, Switzerland. So the next few videos are going to be dedicated to processing some of those files and I'm going to do it in a few different ways. This first one is going to give it more of a, a painting look like a uh, I can't say a watercolor but just a, a, a paint it look as opposed to just a straight photograph and later on I'm going to do some panoramas and show you how easy it is to do panoramas that I handheld the images and then maybe a couple of black and whites but we're going to we're going to do a few different ways a few different methods so if you want to see them all please like and subscribe I always forget to ask people to like and subscribe if you like what you see please do so anyway this first one this shot was taken in Amsterdam and I was there for three days and barely saw a cloud. I was told before I left how Amsterdam it rains every day, not while I was there. It's good and bad. It was great for being a tourist, but with these bright blue skies, not so much for a photographer. So I am, I admit to you, I'm going to cheat a little bit and add a little bit of a cloud here as we get into it. Everyone has their own opinion on whether that's true photography or not. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, I, I copy what uh, a fellow I, I mentioned before I bought a couple of his videos, Joel Grimes, and he considers himself an artist slash photographer. So I like to go that route a little bit. I mean, there are many times where I'll just take a straight photograph, process it a little bit, and bang, there you go. In a case like this, I just think it lends itself to something a little different. We're in Adobe Camera Raw. I just opened it up through Bridge. And because of the, I know the effect that I'm looking for, what I want to do is open up those shadows a little bit in those trees. And I think, and that's all we're going to do right this moment. We're going to open it up in Photoshop. And then once we're there, we're going to save it as so what I want to do is let's put the cloud on its own layer it's just easier to, to mess with now I fully admit this is not my cloud I will I got it for out of a package from Joel Grimes who I mentioned before and I'll probably do a future video on how to make your own clouds and your own brushes. But this is essentially a brush in Photoshop and you brush in a cloud. So if you um, don't need that for your image, that's even better. But I'm just telling you this, this image just cried out for just a little bit of a cloud. I want to move it. Maybe about there, flatten it down, and then really I, I just want a little touch of it. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either clone it out or you can use the healing brush. Sometimes the healing brush is better because it matches the colors in the sky a little bit better because you can see it's a little off now. So Here's the difference with the healing brush. It just tends to match the colors a little bit a little bit better. And I really only want just that little piece there, maybe not even that. That's all I really want, okay? Just to add something. Okay, now that we have that, let's save it again. And then we're going to go back into Filter. We're going to go back into to Adobe Camera Raw. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lower the texture. And we're going to lower the clarity. Now here's where you have to decide how far you want to take it. 
this will be your personal preference and you want to dehaze it just a little bit take a look at those trees when you do the dehaze and also the clarity that's really what really has to kind of be right in my opinion the buildings as well kind of take a look at them all right so we have that now what you want to do is you want to duplicate the layer and on the duplicated layer you want to go to blur Gaussian blur and you want your radius to be somewhere around 50 percent okay and there you go all right then over here under your blending mode for your layers you want to go down to you can you can try a few of them but I prefer soft light but you can see overlay screen they all have a little bit different effect hard light I tend to use soft light now you see how dark those trees are that's why I had to lighten them up a little bit you see the effect the soft light had You want to flatten your image again and then it's just a matter of you're pretty much done you probably in this particular one I'm gonna go in and open up the shadows in those trees just a little bit along this street And then you really, it's a matter of just some touch-up work. And I'm going to add a border to it as well. In just a minute, I want to get rid of this little splotch here. I don't like that. It's kind of distracting. And also this little thing over here. Then you want to crop whatever size. I tend to do these kind of things in 16 by 9, but again personal preference usually people say you want two-thirds sky and one-third water or vice versa again do whatever you want to do it's personal preference don't know that you want the building right dead center I kind of like a little bit of those trees on the side just because it borders it a little gives it a little bit more of a border see that cloud I think it just adds quite a bit to the image the last step I'm going to do is add a border I found these borders in a magazine a long time ago I'm sure you can go online and find your own borders I think adding this type of border to this uh, type of effect adds a lot to it and you'll see what I mean here in a minute now obviously this isn't the same size as this one yet so we have to go up and see what size we're at here or make it a size that we want 26 for now we can always shrink it again later if we need to so we have 26 by roughly 14 and a half that's what we're going to make that image okay so now you want to make this match this at least somewhat so you want to go over here and make this a little bit larger. Make sure this is unlocked. 28 by maybe 17. Let's start with that. Okay, now we have that. We want to move this over and center it about where we want and then you go back over here to your layer and usually screen works best move this to where you want it okay let's minimize this if it doesn't look right you can always go and change the size again 
And there you have it. You can flatten this. And if you want, you can get rid of a little of the couple of these little things if you don't like them. Touch up your things. But essentially, there you go. And now you have more of a, a painting kind of look rather than uh, a straight photograph with a bright blue sky that kind of irritating. Just put a little cloud in it and put that effect in there and I think you have sort of a nice photo. All right, so if you like that, like I said, I'm going to do a few others in a different, different styles. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.